Several anti-violence groups are celebrating this ruling. They say it's one step closer towards decriminalizing a victim's ability to defend him or herself. Tahalil Muhadeen reports. What we're thinking at that moment is, um, how do I get safe? Not, um, how do I make this person unalive? That's not what we're thinking. Pelabon with the Rape Crisis Center says that's an important distinction. This child, um, did what they needed to do in order to escape the situation. Pelabon is applauding the state Supreme Court's decision to allow Crystal Kaiser, who reportedly killed her sex trafficker, to make an argument for self-defense. It's important that we are sending the message to survivors that the choices that they make to escape the situations uh, will not result in them uh, being prosecuted. At just 17, Kaiser allegedly traveled to the home of her abuser and shot him after he touched her. So the reality is, is that when you are being trafficked, that imminent threat is all the time. And leaders from the Wisconsin Coalition Against Sexual Assault say when it comes to these types of cases, it's important to take a trauma-informed lens. They say the trauma that comes from sex trafficking affects a person's ability to make decisions, especially if they're adolescents. What might seem to the outside person as well, shouldn't they have made a different decision, right? They, that's not how trauma works. Advocates also say it's not uncommon for victims to have ongoing contact with someone who is causing them harm. Part of that control is emotional and mental. Um, leaving these situations is hard. It is not just a, you know what, I'm being treated bad, so I'm going to walk out the door. In Madison, Tehleen Mahdeen, News 3 Now. And these groups also say the ruling will help diminish the rate at which women of color are disproportionately prosecuted for fighting back against their abusers.